going on, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be taking out the dry ice. No. <laughs> today we're going to be taking out the uh, sound deadening out of the G. We got some dry ice cooking up in uh, a cooler right here with some alcohol to get it kind of broken down some. Um, and I'm going to crush it up some and uh, spread it around the car so I can get some of the sound deadening. Some progress going on on the intake manifold. I started painting the elbow in the actual plenum. Um, it came out pretty decent. Uh, I like it so far. Um, the fuel rails are black. Everything's going to be black. Um, and the uh, top hats for the injectors are silver, so there should be a little bit of color contrast on there. Um, and the throttle body is black also. Once I once this cures and dries later on today, I'll put it together, and then I'll uh, take a little video of that. I'm also going to try to get the motor set in the car today with the motor plate um you guys didn't see this last week you follow me on instagram and facebook you'll know that i put the motor plate on the motor and i took a picture and i posted it up so yeah i'm gonna have to cut some i have some uh flat steel back there in the back i'm gonna cut a couple pieces off kind of like this and well this is gonna be one of the pieces and i'm gonna tack it onto the frame rails and get them even up so that I can put the motor plate on there. I'm probably going to either tack a bolt well, I'm going to just put two tacks on the corner so I can break it off and figure out where, I'll, where I'm going to mount the actual motor plate because it is going to sit lower than the frame rail. So the plate will probably be down here some. So there'll probably be a bolt behind here that I can access. So I'll just drill and I'll just weld the, the nut or the bolt onto it so that I can put the motor plate on the engine and just have it secured in there um i may put the transmission on it um just to probably start doing a transmission cross member also um the transmission is gonna have to come back out anyway so um but yeah i'm just pretty much in a mock-up stage right now uh still haven't got the turbo yet um i need to here pretty soon because um my manifolds will probably be changing from the cast uh OEM ones to maybe some tubular style ones. If there's tight enough, if it's tight enough in there, it'll work. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with this right now. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start putting the dry ice in the car. Okay, so we have the dry ice in the passenger side right now. I got like 30 pounds of this stuff and feel like I didn't get enough, but it might be enough. I just need to break it up some more. So I'm gonna work on breaking up in some more pieces while it's in here. But if you can hear it sizzling, um, it's like some, in some places it's popping. And uh, that's just a sign of the adhesion uh, that, well, the adhesive that's on the sound deadness getting hard and it's drying up basically and it's peeling up off the the paint and as you can tell like this car has a lot of sound deadening in it so we're going to try to work on getting as much up of it as possible all right guys so i'm about 90 percent done with it i uh, just got a little patch up here that i gotta uh go through and then i just gotta hit this with the hammer i haven't been really taking too much action videos of you know what's going on in here because i was using the windshield as like a camera holder but every time i hit the the sound dead and it'll move the camera down so um just bear with me i forgot my gopro normally i put my gopro in the corner right there and uh you'll be able to see me doing the stuff in here but basically all i'm doing is just letting it dry i sit on the patches of um sound deadening and then uh i'll just move it move the, the dry ice to another spot and then hit it with a hammer and it just peels itself right up basically so um i'll do a little example right here it's kind of foggy here, here. dry ice but just hit it a couple times and then 
times that I should basically break apart like that. And that's basically it. And that's basically what I'm doing throughout the car where there's um, dry ice. I'm not dry ice, but sound in it, but on the transcend it's a little bit difficult because it is on a raised uh, angle. So the sound in it that's in here, it comes off fairly easy. I have to, uh, um, the stuff that's on the transcend, you still have to, uh, you know, put some elbow grease in it to get it off. But once you create a patch, uh, it comes off pretty easy. So I'm gonna go back um, in here and get, uh, to get the rest of the stuff out so I can go ahead and start um, transplanting the motor into the car and mocking up some stuff for the uh, motor plate and uh, transmission plate. guys and there we have it for the most part sound dead and then it's out i just gotta do a little bit of cleaning up i'm gonna take off this panel right here and get the factory seat belts out and start vacuuming out in the car get those brackets out for the back seat actually no i lied i'm gonna leave those brackets in there because i need them to mount the back seat back up in here and uh, oh i'm gonna take these connectors off because when the car gets caged it's gonna tie into this uh, subframe. Well, not the subframe, but this middle part of the chassis right here, because I'm getting a 10 point with a dash bar, and that should be about it for the interior, and then we're gonna start working on putting the motor in the car, or at least getting it mocked up. All right, guys, so my original plan was to come off the frame rails with the motor plate, but uh, the motor sits lower than um, I originally thought so what I'm gonna do is build a box similar to what we have on the Grand National over there what Jason did off the frame rail down a little bit lower and probably come off of this angle here to give it some more support um, and that'll probably be it uh, it's probably gonna be an inch higher just to keep the oil pan off the rack because right now I just have it resting on there so I'll come up maybe like a half an inch um, just to give it some clearance and then that'll be it. And after that, I'll just, I don't have the trans on it. So it's pretty much just supporting itself right now. And once I do that, uh, we'll just start tacking up stuff in the engine bay. I go get gas for my small welder in the morning and I'll build a box for it tomorrow. And um, that'll pretty much wrap that up. Um, also, like I said before, I got all the sound in and out of the car. It's completely, um, out now so i even got the rest of it off the trans tunnel so all i'm gonna do is go over with it go over like all the adhesive spots with a wire wheel just to clean some of it up and then we'll get it uh over to jason's for the cage so i'll make another video tomorrow uh building the box um i'll probably be here later uh working on it um, i still have to square up the motor sun because now that i'm looking at it it's semi to the uh, so I probably will pull it back out and put the trans on it just to get uh, the trans mount made. That way the motor will be square when I put it, uh, put it back in there because it is a little bit to the left right now that I'm looking at it. So tomorrow I'll get some material to make the box and the trans bracket. Also, like I said before, I'm going to use these cheap eBay manifolds. Um, I got them from Chris. Uh, he had those, it on the, that vet right there. And... Uh, I end up putting truck manifolds on it to make the kit more uh, space efficient because these weren't working with uh, the water pump set up and the crank pulley out and the alternator that was on there. But luckily it will work with mine. So um, before they were up and forward, I have them down and forward now. And uh, I just have to cut. I have to cut a circle in here to clear the V-bands for it. I'm gonna cut 
this one off also and v-band that one also and then it'll pretty much be coming out and then the turbo will be sitting about right here and then the exhaust would either go out this way out the it's gonna go out the hood again it's not gonna go out the bumper because the bumper that i'm putting on here is gonna be fiberglass so it's pretty much gonna tear that bumper up really fast so also got a new hood so i'm gonna work on trying to get the front end lined up also and um uh build a tubular uh section for it so that i can put hood pins in it that are that won't come out this time and um get the stand made for the turbo uh we won't be we'll be running a small honda civic radiator something like uh this one over here exact that exact one but just with a better fan um the car won't be driven on the street that much anymore because more likely i'm gonna get myself into trouble and i'm trying to preserve this motor for as long as i can because it's the same motor from last season and i do want it to survive like at least halfway through this season because with a good crank that I'll end up just throwing something together just to make like a thousand horsepower on that'll be a reliable um, and uh, run that for the rest of the season after this motor goes. I am gonna get an engine diaper for this too. So yeah, um, if you guys have any questions about your setup, you need help with anything else, you need work done to your car, you can message me on Instagram or Facebook or you can leave a comment in the section below and I can get in contact with you. All right, have a good night.